Hey friends, Doug here. Trailer construction update. Uh, April 25th and 26th, I believe. There we go. April 26th, uh, 2018. Um, so, everyone, my name is Doug. I run a company called Doug Johnson Productions. I am building a video production vehicle in the form of a trailer. And I do these, do these update videos from time to time about my progress. So, I'm doing all this with my own two hands. And uh, some of it's slow going, especially since I've had a winter that I've had to pass through during the construction process. So, uh, so I just finished some of the woodworking on this and give you guys a kind of look at that. So, I uh, built three desks for the trailer. So, here is the first one on the side. I'll pull back a little bit. Let you see. So, this is, these are made out of oak and stained a color called red chestnut. Here's the front desk. So, and these are the final permanent desks that are going to stay in the trailer. Um, some of the supports are going to change. So, like if you look under here right now, I still have plywood uh, down underneath there. But uh, I'm probably going to upgrade that to a thicker plywood and then cover it in carpet. At least that's the current plan. Um, well, we will we will see. Uh, the last I did the audio booth, there was a piece of, of oak here before, but it was the wrong color and it wasn't quite deep enough. It didn't go all the way back. And so now I have a piece that actually does. So, um, so yeah, so that makes the majority of that phase of the woodworking. I've actually got more than I'm going to be doing, um, hopefully in the next few weeks, but we'll see. Uh, this is pretty time consuming, but between all the different coats of stain and, and, uh, you probably polyurethane on top of it. Uh, there are six coats of stain on there and five coats of polyurethane. So between all the dry times, between all that, it ends up taking about four or five days in order to get all that put down. So, um, in terms of what the next phase of woodworking is probably going to be, most likely I'm going to put a shelf up here across the front, maybe even wrap it around. Camera focus, there we go. Wrap it around all the way over here to the clock. I haven't decided just yet. Um, that's kind of one of the nice things about working on this. Like some of the, some aspects of it, I can just totally go with whatever I feel at the moment. Uh, the overall layout has been finalized for basically a year, but uh, in terms of actual implementation, there are some fine details that I'm I'm modifying as we go. So so yes, I'll probably be doing a shelf up there, a uh, place to store primarily these gray bins down here, but. Uh, could be other things as well. So, um, so also, sharp-eyed viewers will notice that uh, there's another monitor up here. It wasn't there before. Um, that's temporarily on the wall, but ultimately that is going to be the monitor for the instant replay slash playback booth uh, that I have yet to build. And that's another woodworking project at some point in the future. Uh, I did decide that that desk is going to be removable, so I kind of have to wait until the carpet is on the walls before I can install the desk because I want the carpet to be seamless top to bottom not have to work around that desk so so that will come after the carpeting but anyway so this monitor is displaying a multi view so it can do up to do, do 16 right now I've got it configured for for 9 so basically it's camera 1 source camera 2 camera 1 replay camera 2 Camera 2 replay, camera 3, camera 3 replay, camera 4, camera 4 replay, and then the computer that actually controls all of that. So uh, everything's wired up. I just got to write the software to control the hardware. So I haven't had an event where I've needed that, so it hasn't been a high priority to get that done just yet. Uh, it won't take me very long. It's, it's, it won't, it's not, that compl not, not that difficult, so not too complicated to do. So um, other changes. Um, got I think I've mentioned this in another video but I've got uh, headphone hangers on the walls so I'll keep those headsets out of the way I also added these clipboard style clips to hold rundown sheets so there's one there there's actually one behind this monitor uh, one on the wall over here one on the wall over here underneath my business card holder one up here and then one over here inside the audio booth uh, I've got more if I need if I need them. That's a good good place to hold hold rundown sheets or scripts or whatever whatever uh, documentation we need while we're, we're while we are working. So uh, we've had 
had to tape things on the wall previously and we'll be able to just use clips to hold those in place. Okay, so um, with the desk basically in their final layout, just kind of let me give you a rundown of what, what's, what's going on here. So this position as always is technical director or for smaller events where we don't have a technical director, that's where the director sits. And for most events for the last little while, that's been me. So I've got my computer here um, with a touch screen next to it. So uh, let me log in here. All right, so you have, so I'll have the switcher software running over here and then any other software that I need over here on, on the Surface Pro 2 here. Uh, of course, I have the X-Keys 128, XK128 controller that I use to control the switcher there, connected to just macro software, which as anybody who watches the channel knows, I do not care for, but uh, I have not had the ch chance to re rewrite that. Okay, next station moving over here, moving to the right is for the director. Um, so in that case, this laptop would get slid back. This controller panel would get slid over. Uh, another laptop would get set up here and then the director has a, a bird's eye view to see everything that's going on on all the different monitors. And then the third station on the front wall is for auxiliary, so producer or a friend or whatever just to have a place to sit and monitor what's going on. It, it is in the doorway, so but that will be always be the last position to fill up because uh, they will be in the way of people coming and going. All right, and then just to the right, right side here. So a first station here, this is primarily going to be designed for uh, graphics, uh, sometimes playback. Uh, there is actually not a dedicated computer at this station, even though you can see one. Uh, this station is designed for plugging in a laptop and there is a, well, it's hard to see, but there's a Thunderbolt cable there for plugging in uh, uh, to get video in and out of the production system here. And that's coupled to a Blackmagic Ultra Studio 4K underneath the desk. Uh, this as all, almost all the other monitors in this the trailer are 4K. So um, you can see like pr program window, full resolution when we're shooting 1080p, or at least a high resolution preview if we, if we happen to be shooting 4K. All right, um, next station over here. This is primarily designed for PTZ camera control. Let um, me fire up the display here. So the monitor here on the bottom, that's actually a touch screen. Um, see the Xbox controller. So uh, the software I wrote to control cameras uses that Xbox controller to control them. All right, now the TV up top's booted. So, uh, so four PTZ cameras that they're controlling would be, or up, up to four PTZ cameras they're controlling would be up here. And I can reroute signals. So if, if we wanted to have the active camera that they're controlling show up down here, we can do that. Um, but uh, because of the flexibility of the way the tra trailer is designed, uh, that station has actually been used for graphics more than anything else. Um, the second video output from that computer does go into the video production system. You're seeing a preview of that up here. And so I can run software on that computer uh, to generate graphics without having to bring in a separate laptop over here. Um, so yeah, so preview graphics up there. And then above that, the switcher preview, switcher program. So you can see what's going on there. And then we'll move, moving a little further back, this is the engineer station. And I finally have this monitor oriented the way that it's gonna be. Uh, we can make up that computer. So this is this is where I will probably live most of the time. So access to the switcher and other components behind. Uh, monitor, I can, I can fig configure whatever source I want on there. Right now I've got it for multi view from uh, channel one, knocking things over. And then a monitor for the computer for this station. This also is a touch screen and then a keyboard to go along with that. Uh, this, it's a little bit tight in here, but it's not too bad. Um, I can I can work on there quite comfortably. So, um, also to a radio for communication with the crew if they're not on comms. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then audio booth. Um, temporarily, I have this Personas mixer and then this Behringer control surface for controlling uh, mixing mixing of audio, and then. A monitor above there to see what's going on and then above that a monitor for program and uh, basically a scope to let you see 
levels of up to 16 channels and whether uh, left and right channels are in or out of phase and so forth. So, and then some other gear up top, uh, including a multi-band compressor to make sure levels are in check, and then an effects processor I can use for delaying any signals which don't happen to pass through a camera. Of course, a touchscreen um, computer for the station. You also, I can see I've got headphone hangers here with uh, headsets actually being stored on them at the moment. Uh, another thing I should mention here is that while I was running new cables the other day, I ran a couple new cables here. So a couple of um, shielded Ethernet and a couple of uh, audio lines. Those actually go up to the front, front wall over here. So I haven't connected them to anything, but the idea is to put in a few audio connectors on this panel. So if I need to patch audio from the front into the, on the audio booth, I can do that. Uh, I did have to run some other cables. Like I mentioned this, I added this monitor. I had not run any of the cables for that, and so I did that. So there's HDMI running the monitor, and then down here we've got an Ethernet, two audio lines, USB 3, and then two coax for uh, SDI video. So, uh, let's see what else have I done here? I've done quite a lot. Um, putting, moving this monitor such that it could be moved away from the wall was was fun. I had to run new cables for that. The cables that were in the wall were not long enough. So uh, there's my fish poles that I actually used to, to do all that. And that's what you heard fall a minute ago. So anyway, so yeah, this engineer station is now facing the right direction. Uh, it's always meant to face forward. And uh, it, that's actually a place where I can work. Um, I added this hard drive dock. Uh, I, I use bare drives for storing media. And so this allows me to drop two drives in, and then I copy off of, of uh, SD cards. Uh, normally that would actually be done at the engineer station back here, but um, for the time being, the computer for that is being serviced. And so for right now, I have to have to do that using this other machine over USB. Uh, it, it works well enough, so no, no major complaints out of me. Um, but uh, yeah, so. I'm just going to show you kind of a trip down the the desk here. There's two-way radios. Uh, craft services is running a little bit low. I need to make another trip to the grocery store. Um, but uh, you can see I've been able to eliminate a lot of the clutter that was on the desk previously. And uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going to go. Um, had a couple of people ask me what's going on with these outlets. Should, should I have done those in oak as well? Well, the plan is to cover those in the same carpet. It covers everything else. So, I'll take a... So you get kind of a rough idea of what, what that's going to look like. There you go. So, um, carpet is probably just weeks away. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm going to have to probably do that in, in phases. It's going to be quite a lot of work. So obviously everything on the wall is going to have to be pulled down um, and then cut new holes for everything after the carpet's installed. I'm going to be gluing the carpet in place and so there's a fair amount of labor involved in just that. So most likely what I'll do is just one wall at a time, pull, pull everything off, put the carpet up, cut the holes, put the equipment back up, and then move on to the next wall. So that's kind of where we stand. Um, but uh, yeah, things are moving along nicely. Things look uh, definitely a little more polished, a little more finished than they had. Um, you know, adding those real desks uh, did add quite a bit of class to to the trailer. So even though it still looks a little rough because of the plywood walls, it's still still improving. Um, but uh, at this point, I'm aiming for hopefully June to have everything from phase one done. So anyway, if you have questions, uh, comments, suggestions, smart remarks or otherwise, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And uh, if you need to get in touch with me for whatever reason, you can get to me through my website. Uh, shortcut to the contact page is djp.li slash contact, or you can go directly to the website djprod.biz and uh, I'll, you can, I'll try and get back to you there. Um, be sure also to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. 
I uh, have a Patreon page as well. So uh, that's patreon.com slash djprod. And I use the money from Patreon just for purchasing products for review. None of it goes into my own pocket. So uh, it's just for you, the viewers, to bring in products that I don't, wouldn't normally necessarily have access to. So anyway, thanks guys for watching and have a fantastic day.